All right, we are back with round two of Operation Fishhook. And this time we've changed up the sides. Best Pony is going to be commanding the Russians, and you're going to see me following along with his side. And Karma Cut is going to be commanding the militia this time around. And you're going to see Google Tracks flying around with him. So, should be a fun one, Google. Covering for the end of that round last time. I got in just in time to see the last two kills, but Google holding down the fort while I was away. Good stuff. Here we're just kind of watching the Russians getting themselves set up, maneuvering into position. And we'll see them get started as soon as they get themselves in position. They chose to actually spawn everybody in and mount them up and then head out. So it's going to take them a little bit to get into position, but in the meantime, I think we can probably go through those commands and those squad leads again. So on my side, we've got Commander Best Pony taking care of business. And then under him, his capable squad leads, X-Bit, Nasty Nate, Kirkley, and Satan. Google, who you got over there with Karma? I've got Karma's command, like you said there. And his SLs are Shadowed Ritual, Jack Reynolds, Dr. Kamikaze, and Tedish. Again, all of them very experienced, done this plenty of times. And it looks like they're getting ready to, uh, to get their briefing figured out here. Absolutely. Maybe we can we can drop in and listen on that briefing. Do you think we can? They're not ready to do platoon brief, it looks like. They're still oh, okay. figuring out their plan. From the sounds of it, they're going to ignore the recruits completely and push to the exfil location and lock it down. We'll see how Pony likes that strategy if he decides to leave somebody behind. That's interesting to see. I know uh, Pony mentioned last time he didn't want to do that because he... He was a little worried about the meta-ness of it, but ultimately his strategy ended up working out. So we'll see. This is going to be a different strat, having them push to the Xville location and just kind of hold it. I know there was a big platoon push last time from the Russians to get those recruits out of there. So this time around, having them kind of just hold on to the extra location that's gonna it's gonna see if they'll they'll actually leave some people behind or if it's just gonna be this massive platoon push the whole way out we'll see it sounds like from karma's command brief here possibly we'll get a better idea when he explains it to all the troops here but it sounds like he wants to push into that that exfil location and just ied and mine the crap out of it and hold it down force them to kind of fight their way back in whenever they yeah, can. Absolutely. That would be that'd be a rough thing to fight through having that IED in there and the mines for the vehicles to try and worry about. That could though, quickly take their assets out of the running. Though we did see last time the Russians did have a hard time holding that village. They were in those buildings and militia managed to clear them out. So we've seen that those buildings in that defensive position is not necessarily the absolute best thing in the world to be holding anyway. Yeah, absolutely not. It could be a product of those buildings being indefensible or perhaps a superior force in command. We'll see Gotta which see. plays out. Absolutely. And a lot of the time it can just come down to those guys that have boots on the ground, you know. Those, those guys just holding a rifle in a dream, you know. <laughs> so speaking of that, those boots on the ground guys, they're the ones that make this all cool. We've got obviously Google Tracks and I just flying around taking care of these overhead shots, but the guys that are down on the ground that provide you those first person shots, they're the real heroes of this. So we'll rattle through those, give them their 15 seconds of fame, and we're going to start off with Big Yes. Come on, boys, let's go. Up next, we've got Muff Bandit. Saw him going off last round. Got four kills, two of them one taps. Pretty good stuff with him. Next up, we've got Jay Remick. There are four recruits up there. They're trying to extract to the green FOB mark. Our objective is to kill the four recruits and then eliminate any remaining Russian Oh, actually, I just apparently we are going to cut this. We've got our briefing going on. Google Tracks, we'll kick it over to you. Let them hear a briefing from Karma. And they're going to essentially push to that target mark and delay. 
Uh, they're going to raise hell and delay that extraction. In the meantime, squads 1, 3, and 4 will mount up into the MTLBs. 3 will take the front MTLB with squad 1 loaded as infantry, and squad 4 will take the second MTLB with command loaded. Both MTLBs will move full speed direct south to north up this uh, MSR, past the Kim, cross the uh, bridge in on the JK line, continue pushing west. Once we pass, infantry will dismount around this transport marker. Infantry will push in direct west. MTB, MTLBs will break and have independence. In the event that we take contact and they put a, uh, put a squad on shipping yard, we are going to overwhelm it with speed and violence of action. Uh, we'll find out who's doing base of fire, and we'll push underneath, smoke in advance, okay? Once we have overrun that um, position, or there is no enemy defense squad, we'll set up our ambush. That includes mines and IEDs in the buildings and roads surrounding the area. Infantry will uh, disperse into the buildings, and the MTLBs will lie in wait in the tree lines on the uh, outskirts of the town. Once we have the ambush in place, we're going to wait for an opportune moment of, uh, to engage the enemy as they return to the LZ. But if you have to, you are weapons free. While we're doing this, once again, Tedish is uh, delaying the enemy retreat. Once they've done that, they're going to mount up into their technicals and regroup with us on shipping yard. Are there any questions? I do want, I just want to say something real quick. Yeah. Uh, Karma always says it. Make sure when we're clearing buildings, we get really, really aggressive, or we're just going to die. Yeah, just breach the building, okay? Are we going to oh, plant IEDs in the uh, extract building? Say again? Yeah. Are we going to plant IEDs in the various stories of the extract Yeah, building? IEDs will be handled by the squad leaders in charge of their uh, scout. But yeah, you can expect IEDs put down into positions that they will uh, re reinforce. Any other questions? All right, sounds good. Squad leaders, go ahead and break them out. We'll start for live. All right. And it looks like we actually get to listen to both briefings here. That was Karma Cuts, and we're going to get listen in on Best Pony here. Get close and let you, let you hear what he plans. We brought it back. That's extremely good work for all of you. Like, great, great work. And, uh, yeah, so good job. All of you did fantastic. We executed perfectly. We killed a bunch of the recruits during the initial contact, and I think only one, based on how many were alive in the building when we sieged it, made it out. So that's very good shit. I mean, you uh, killed them, though. We're gonna... Well, Xbit, Xbit and I killed them. <laughs> it was a team effort. And, and also, the brave soul, Evans SMA, who died on the stairway in battle. I got one, <laughs> Evan. Um, Rest in peace. Good work, Kevin. All right. Um, so let's let's yes. So as to the plan for this round, we're gonna we're gonna beat Karma again, and here's how we're gonna do it. As you can see, we have our recruit squad, Squad Seven. They're hanging out right on the edge of the zone, like they're they're chilling. They're waiting for Xville. We're gonna we're gonna get them out of there real quick. So here's how we're gonna do that. I need Squad One. Actually, um, never mind. I I want Squad Three. Xbit Squad is gonna take the two MTLBs. They're going to drive down the MSR. They're going to drive up to the road, literally right next to Squad 7. Um, one MTLB, the first MTLB, is going to push out in front of Squad 7, all the way down to, like, right here. While the second MTLB picks them up and starts traveling back up the road, then the uh, that, that MTLB is going to, you know, exfil as well. And that, that, that MTLB convoy is just going to, you know, go right back to shipping yard, deposit our friendly recruits here. In the meantime, the transport truck is going to take two squads and drop one off at the zone. Transport trucks will be driven by squad one. Uh, squad one's going to drop squad two and four off of the zone, actually. Or shit, no, my math's wrong. What uh, zone is a specific? X bit, you're getting downgraded to one MTLB. Can you still get it done? Sure. We only had one last right. time. All right. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. I'm up for it. I can do it. So much fun right what, what, zone, what, what zone are you talking about? Sorry. Xfil. Yeah, okay, I'll explain. So the Xfil zone, or the Xfil building, as um, yeah, as you can see in the briefing doc if you read it, is in Golf 3 Keypad 1, Micro Keypad 5. 
So, we're going to have x right. Squad take one MTLB, go retrieve Squad 7, and come back. In the meantime, I want Squad uh, 1 in the other MTLB pushing to secure the bridge by Akeem. I want that bridge, like, 100% secure. If you stay on the rocky outcropping right there, you'll have good sight lines on it. Just make sure no militia could come across. That's that's your job. Not a single fucking militia gets across that bridge. In the meantime, squads 2 and 4 are going to be in the transport truck. They're going to go direct to shipping yard, and they're going to set up a nice perimeter defense. Uh, squad 2 will set up in the actual compound itself and in the, the apartment buildings around, and then Squad 4 is going to set up kind of split between one fire team on Shipping Yard and one fire team in this little village right here. When Squad 1 get back with the other MTLB, they're going to post up uh, one fire team by this farmhouse here and an additional fire team in the, the rocks right here, uh, uh, holding that hill. And they're going to have the MTLB go and position itself as they see fit. Does that make sense to everyone? Cool. Copy that. Sir, Copy. yes, sir. Sir. Okay, perfect. So complete. Let's let's all let's fucking execute it then. I'll be riding with the MTL beats that's going direct to shipping yard. And I'll throw myself out when we get there. So say again, command. Squad one's gonna be um, an MTLB going straight to the uh, bridge we were looking at before. Correct, yeah. <laughs> Run it! Yes. Cop. Looks like and there's only one MTLB. Oh, yeah. oh, perfect. Yeah. Needing pizza. All right. So you just got to listen to Best Pony's plan. They're going to be rushing that MTLB nearly directly in, it sounded like. It seems that they're deciding that that MTLB is going to be almost an expendable resource. They're hoping it isn't expended, but they're going to rush it in to try to pick up the recruits with that. And we'll see how that goes. Karma seems to be planning to bum rush the Xville location. So we'll see how this all holds together. It's going to be interesting to see how everything comes together and who takes advantage of what situations and who ends up with the win here. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it looks like both teams calling ready. And we are going to be live at 138. One minute. That is just one minute away. Very cool. Yep, looks like they have a, all their vehicles turned around and lined up, ready to leave. Push out quickly and get to the exfil location ahead of the Russian team. All right. Actually, you know, we, we had to cut this off to go into the briefing, so we'll get back into doing these cameras. And we're going to go... Jump right back in with Shadowed Ritual, another one of our first-person cameras tonight. We've also got a crazy Russian. Han Solo, who you saw was one of the last two alive in the last round. We've got Krusty the Sailor. We've got Tedish, who... Was holding down that western side, kind of keeping eyes out. He saw some good movement, troop movement. Very cool to see. He did a great job. We've also got the Silver Man holding things down last round. Good contributor. We've got Xbit, one of the squad leads for the current Russian side under Best Pony. We've got Hyper Evo, the man, the myth. The community manager. What a great guy. We've got It's Crispy. He, We saw him making that southern push in. That was a little bit of a rough time for him, but he had a good round. And that's going to be it, actually. Thought we had one or two more, but apparently not, so... That is going to be all of our cameras. Oh, B Dog KT asking what camera or what what the 138 live time means. If you look whenever I bring up this screen right here, you can see that it says 136 40 something in the top. That is actually the time that we go off. So when they say 138, they meant 138 on that countdown clock in the top middle. Hopefully that answers your question.
All it right. looks like we've got their dish, their techies pushing up on the recruit location here. Just those four guys huddled in that building. It looks like they're going to blow right past them. Got one gone by, and not a clue that they just drove by their objective. But maybe that's not what karma has for them. Yeah, well, if they're just trying to rush that exfil location, then they're probably not going to worry about it too much. Looks like they're about to run into an MTLB. Yes, Man they are. MTLB stops on the other side here. They're dismounting. And there goes one SPG shot. Oh, MTLB wow, that SPG up. definitely hit. MTLB needs to lay down some fire or pull out one of the two. All right, we see this MTLB holding behind there, trying to get shots in on this techie. Xbit rounds the corner. Bird person gets taken down. Silverpud gets taken down. Xbit gets taken down. And that is a squad lead down immediately. Tedish and Matrix. Doing some work on this corner. Yeah, wow, um, that SPG techie plus the Dishka techie doing some work. Just goes to show, use anything for cover. And Absolutely. they use that vehicle for cover effectively. Matrix pushing out here on Fulcrum. And oh. blows up. Fulcrum losing the opportunity to kill Matrix, and they lose their MTLB. Wow, Dermoplast goes Great down with shot. a Great rocket. Us yeah, Big Yes must be grateful he got out of that vehicle. Looks like Russia has suffered a lot more in this push. Yeah, all four of Militia are still up. Fulcrum here bandaging. He's about to have a bad day. Matrix just walks in and taps him in the head. Matrix oh. getting shot from the corner. Matrix he goes down. down. Iron Tyrant, I think that was. Tedish still alive here, holding on to that Dishkateki. We saw that thing used to great great use last round and provided a lot of support and cover. This time, this time they're just kind of using their own using their own pushes and Tedish driving away with that uh, Dishkateki. They are leaving, it looks like. I just heard a call out. Two MTLBs destroyed. It looks like the militia have lost both of their MTLBs already. Best Pony. Or it looks like Satan, actually. His squad was the one who took them out. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big crippling blow for the Russian team. So we see this SPG techie that they're holding here. They've got it loaded up, and they're getting ready to see if they can get some more shots in. They used it to pretty good effect early to get one of those shots in on the MTLB, and that weakened it enough for Fulcrum to push in and take it down with his LAT. So you can see this thing is pretty weak on defense, but as far as offensive rating, it is a strong, strong contender. Can't hold many people, but... The SPG itself can absolutely destroy a vehicle if it's given the opportunity. Looks like either he got left behind or they left him behind on purpose, but immune style all by himself on the hill here. Still able to see Iron Tyrant, Big Yes, and Slinger there. The remaining people from that squad with the MTLB. It's interesting. They must have left him there as a scout. I don't think that they... I don't think that Tedish would have just left him, you know. He is playing the scout class, so that is possible. Maybe left him behind to to keep an eye on the remaining troops. Yeah, he's using those binox to keep an eye on those troops there. It looks like they're holding still. They're unsure whether there's anyone left. All right. And those so techies we're gonna, took off. Yeah, they just kind of left. They're they're running away. I mean, you know, they feel like they got kind of a bad 
bad engagement. So as they got that bad engagement, there's not much they can really do. So I just heard that Satan is up here holding down this angle with these these guys up on this hill. They've got an MTLB to cover. It looks like Teddish, Muff Bandit, and Green Hookah are less than 100 meters from the scout team, and they may not even know it. The wow. Muff Bandit running from them, and Teddish, the squad lead, sitting there with his binocs, checking out the... Oh, Teddish getting shot at. Pinging off the fence there. Muff Bandit takes a hit. Takes down Best Pony! Muff Bandit one-shots Best Pony there. Wow, Muff going off again, taking out Command early. They might not even know Command is down. I'm not hearing any chatter about it. Oh, never mind. I just heard Magus yell out that Command is down. Is there any more? I haven't seen any other yeah, Muff Bandit up there. doing it again. So doing the work. Gotta love it. Yep. One. Just one taps. One taps all day. Love them. And he is using that M16 that the militia are given, mm -hmm. opting mm -hmm. it for it instead of the AK-style rifle, and using it to good effect. Mm -hmm. It has no optics whatsoever, as we do in our One Life events, and he is managing to get a one-shot kill on command, easily 100 meters plus. You know, I talked to him about that, and he, he loves those iron sights. He actually doesn't use optics whenever he even has the ability to. He prefers to go iron sights, and damn if he isn't effective. Yeah, I myself prefer the iron sights, at least in close quarters, prefer the iron sights on those, on those A, rather, M4s, M16s. Something about that. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, Tedish still not knowing how close he is to the objector here. Wow. Here on the northeast, they have successfully repelled that assault. There's two MTLBs that they took out as they tried to cross the bridge, and then a good amount of infantry got taken out as well. And they have now repelled the push, as you can see in the background there. Magnetic and his guys shoving off. They took a lot of casualties trying to get up to that position, and they did not have a good time with it. I'm not fucking serious. All right, listen up, guys. I'm bringing my uh my MTLB down to squad seven. So I just heard Satan. He is taking command, and he is going to bring one of his MTLBs down to try to pick up squad seven, knowing that they are under contact currently. That is the the squad seven is actually the recruit team, so. They are going to be trying to maneuver themselves down there with that MTLB and see if they can extract them real quick. He said Tedish doesn't even seem to know that they're there so far, right? Tedish and Muff and the Green Hookah all took off, getting out of there with those speedy Dishka techies. Or rather, Dishka and techie, SPG techie, yeah. Dishka and SPG, you're right. Yeah, they, they were less than 100 meters and they took off. Not a shot fired. Well, you know, if they feel like they were losing out on the engagement, as it seems that they might have been, then ultimately that's not something that they want to do. Actually, yeah, there's two techies just rolling around down there to the southeast. We can see them out here. Yeah, nowhere near their platoon movement. Possibly trying to pull off a flanking maneuver requested by their squad leads or command. Sneaky Sniper is out there to the west. He has taken up a far western position, and it seems like he's just going to try to listen and see if he sees anybody out there. Currently, he's just hugging the bottom of a tree, and he says, this is my tree. I'm going to love it. These roots, I'm going to become one with them. The clovers, I am a man in the forest. And that is his position for now. He's actually an LAT, so he could put in some work if he saw those techies rolling in. Up to the north, immune style. Still just running around. They left him earlier, and he is still just running around. They probably saw that troop transport over there. And otherwise, he's just on the maneuver, scouting it out, trying to understand what's going on. He might try to relink up with his dish techies here. Yeah, it looks like he's getting, he's heading right toward him. They may be holding out there to pick him up. <laughs> Chelsea bot saying filthy tree huggers, you know. 
every once in a while. You just got to go out there and be one with Mother Nature, hug a tree, lick a rock, eat some mushrooms, you know. <laughs> Mutant style is still just holding up there. He's playing the scout. He knows that that troop transport truck is there, and I think he's trying to keep eyes on it. Oh, it looks like he has his phone out, possibly. Oh, I want possibly you know what? Blow an IED. I guarantee you, he put an IED on this transport truck. Let me get he in here. Absolutely I did. I can see it on the map. The skull and crossbones denoting a mine or IED. Oh, buddy! If they do decide to use that transport truck. That's going to be a bad day. I can't see yeah. where he placed it. If he placed it under it or actually on the vehicle, but it's somewhere around there. How sneaky that is, man. You got to love it, right? Absolutely. It's those clever, clever little tactics that win the day. Hopefully his isn't a dud like the last <laughs> one. You know, I hear the MTLB rattling in here, and that's going to be piloted by... Looks like Odessa, Sightless, Truth Realm, and XF all pushing in in this MTLB as it rattles down the road here. I bet Immune Style wishing he used his mine on that intersection down there. We should probably get closer, but just go off. <laughs> they actually managed to stay off of the intersection for now. They are not using roads. I actually just heard Odessa and sightless discussing that they want to stay off the roads just stay away from the roads stay off them as much as you can use the trees use the woods probably a smart plan considering these Absolutely. mines yeah they got to play the first round as militia and they know the possible tactics Oh, absolutely. They're avoiding it at all costs. Yeah, I see your MTLB here <laughs> holding along the grassy oh, yeah. side of the road. Oh, there he crosses the road and right back off, you see? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. The Shadowed roads are Rit lava. Shadowed Ritual Squad way out of place here. Possibly had set up for a maneuver that is no longer relevant. <laughs> Pushing through the woods here. Far from any engagement, although he may not know that. And with the movement restrictions of infantry and vehicles having to cross a bridge, they must now find a bridge. I'm hearing Muff taking some shots up here. He was shooting at Mori's kids, actually, I think. The only one that's around. And Mori has taken up position. He's just hiding here for now. He's got immune style off to his northeast. I did hear the call out. He did tell everybody that they have a techie to their north. He didn't see what type of techie it was, but he did tell them. He at least relayed the information. And sometimes that's all you need to do is let them know about that. It looks like Muff and Green Hookah holding in this little foresty section here. You know what? Is Karma Cut down? He is. Yes, he is. So both commands are down. One of them, I'm guessing, was due to that hard push on the northeast that took out the two MTLBs, and that was Karma Cut. And then the other one to a one-tap from Muff. Yeah, so it looks like Shadowed Ritual is in command currently. And... Oh, the it. SPG techie takes a shot at the MTLB carrying the recruits and it misses. It fires high. They fire SP high and they are now getting away. Yep, and it looks like the SPG techie taken off, possibly attempting to get back in line of sight. Absolutely. They know that that SPG techie is a lot faster than the MTLB, so they're going to try to chase it down if they can. Tedish taking off in that thing, chasing them down. Sightless still not sticking to roads. He, he has decided, nope, you know, roads are, are not a happy place for me. They are lava, and I am going to stay off them. And with that, Sightless and this MTLB have actually made it back to the Xville location with the recruits. And they've got two squads, almost. Actually, a squad and a half, at least. 
Yeah, no, I, I'd like... say these are like these are nearly a, two squads. Two full All set squads. Up. Made it back, and the militia forces are in basically in pieces, scattered across the map. Absolutely. The SPG techie taking shots, the muff bandit being shot at, yelling at his driver to get out of there. Who are they taking shots from, though? Way up on the hill, it looks like Big Yes and possibly the Iron Tyrant. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, Still and they, just running. They buggered off and got into a forest, got some, got some cover, and turned off their engine. Trying to go quiet and stay out of sight. They have no idea where that MTLB went. Muff Bandit being confused as to where that went, making a wrong turn, coming under fire. Oh man, sad to see. Immune Style actually went down before he got to play his little trick of exploding the IED on that transport. So that IED set up, it did not go. And this body that you can see chilling up here on these rocks, that is actually immune style. He got taken down by Big Yes and his guys. Unfortunate for them. To the south, yeah. they've got Shadowed Ritual and his crew pushing up. There is still a long ways out, though. And they have no vehicles. Muff Bandit taking a shot oh. at the infantry. Actually, that was at the transport. He did hit the transport dead on with that SPG. Trying to disable their ability to move about the map. That's the hope. He doesn't know how many are here, and ultimately it's it's a fire team size element, but, you know, he doesn't know that. He could think that there's still, you know, a squad or two down here that won't have the ability to get back to their exfil location. Or behind the rock behind it. Don't know if it's out of ammo or he is holding off shots in hopes that we'll get into it. They're taken off on foot. Yeah, they have decided that it is not worth it. More Yates Kid, Sneaky Sniper, Iron Tyrant, and Slinger pulling themselves back a little bit. Not wanting to give shots to that Dishka Techie. That Dishka Techie is still firing in. Taking some shots. Teddish up there on the gun. Putting in just little taps on it, and he takes down the transport. Down goes that Ural. Hearing Big Yes call it out, saying that their transport just got taken down. And little do they know, Shadowed Ritual and his squad pushing up from their south. Absolutely. Shadowed leading that long flank. They, I guess it's not really a flank. That's the original location that they would have been assaulting from, but it's kind of a long run that they've got going on, i got to say. Yeah, they have been running for a long way. That is the result of some of these ops. You end up on foot, vehicle goes down, or the maneuver just takes you way out of the way. Either way, you find yourself running across large spaces sometimes. Absolutely. Not a bad thing. I like these big ops. You know. Yeah, absolutely. It creates a little bit of immersion. Yeah, you got to run for a while before you get into contact. You never know if somebody's going to be around the corner. I got to say, though, these guys, if they're able to, to keep up this march and run this, this whole way, man, they've got some Olympic athletes over there on the militia side. <laughs> for sure. Cross country runners. Look at them. Especially if they <laughs> manage to take back that... Uh... That town there and take out the objective. Absolutely. The comeback of, of the century. Tedish and Muff driving those techies. Looks like they're taking them southward. They might try to relink up with these guys, but I heard Satan say that he wants Big Yes and his crew to just hang out here, keep 360 security, and if they can, let the enemy pass by them but big yes about to run into saloon about to run into the entirety of the enemy if he oh, if he sees them my guess is they're green up they're running parallel to each other they don't see each other squad four now have you guys oh big yes uh, he's gonna peek this hill the see if he sees them um, he does. But yes, he gets out his rocket. Left. Frag rocket. Up. Oh, <laughs> he takes down Saloon and Shadow Ritual. Shadowed 
Their command goes down. It's all up to Tedish. Big yes. Mooney going down to big yes. Mooney going down to Slinger. Slinger, Slinger gets the shot that. on him. Triton throws out a nade. Big yes hears it and moves. Another grenade goes out. Enemy squad to my east. We're seeing Big Yes's squad has actually been quite effective. He pulls over this hill, and he is now moving back. Big Yes hearing those technicals rumbling up at him. And he gets his right, rocket ready. He gets that heat ready. And the disc Mate. is... Hit once. The disc is hit once. Magnetic is bleeding. Magnetic gets hurt on that. And down looks goes like, the dish Kateki. Looks like Tedish took out, I think it was Slinger, there on that rock. Boogie, yeah, goes down as well. Oh, man. This is a good little engagement. Sneaky Sniper. Gets downed, absolutely. I think that was Moose who took him out. Iron Tyrant gets drop as re dropped as well. Mori eats kids, and Big Yes, the two holdouts here. They know that Mori eats kids is there. I don't know that they know where Big Yes is. Yeah, Ted is responsible for at least three of these kills himself. Now the command of the malicious platoon. Mori eats kids puts a couple shots in on the SPG techie. Fuck. Some GLs going out. Not really doing any damage there, but he is giving away his position. Peeks around the corner. He sees Tedish. And he drops Tedish with the GL. Wow. Good job, Mori. Mori eats kids dropping Tedish. Another GL shot just goes right over Green Hookah. Green Hookah grabs that SPG techie and tries to move it back. Shots coming in on Mori eats kids. That was Moose who was taking shots at him. And he goes down to Big Yes. Big Yes and Mori eats kids doing a great job trying to cover for one another here. Oh, man. Good teamwork here. Big Yes doing a push. He's going to run into Gaming Brennan. Mori and he drops kids. Gaming Brennan. Mori eats kids takes down the Muff Bandit. I'm fucking oh, man. Big Yes on a good push up here takes down Gaming Brennan. And he's going to have to bandage himself up. Magnetic, Green Hookah, and Triton. Are they the only three left on the team? Uh, it appears that way. Yes, they are. Big Yes making the push. Big Yes is going to take down Triton and Magnetic. That leaves Green Hookah. Green Hookah, the only one left. Wow. So this, <laughs> this plan that Karma had of pushing everything onto that exfil location, it gets shut down by a well-done bridge camp and some really good holding by a couple of squads here to the south. Great work. Wow. That's great to see. Absolutely. Best Pony anticipating that meta and countering it amazingly. Yep. Very well done on his part. Got to give credit to all these guys, though. It is not easy to come out here and command. It is not easy to squad lead. It is a difficult job, and all these guys making it happen. It's great to see. I, I love it personally. It's never easy to get out here in squad lead. It's scary to volunteer for that position. I got contacts, but one, two, I love it personally. Nice. Absolutely. I happen to be in the event server. Oh, there goes oh. Green Hookah, and that's GG. That is going to be GG. So, who just jumped? Oh, shit. Russia oh, wins what? this one. What? Best Pony what? getting the best of get Karma Cut you. twice. Yeah, oh, Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Definitely a good game. That was really fun wow. to watch. Oh, Thank you for having me out to. To commentate this absolutely Quite really great stuff truth realm actually getting 18 kills in that round i can't believe it he was on that uh mtlb 18 kills for him in that amazing stuff anyway we're not going to keep you too long that's going to wrap it up for operation fishhook tonight with squad ops and with that we're going to be back Maybe on Saturday, might be a solo stream. We'll see how that goes. 
We'll see. But we do have a new op running Saturday. If you want to participate, get in there, head over to squadops.gg, sign up, get yourself through SOTT basic, and then you too can partake in these one life operations. Really good stuff tonight. Thanks again to everybody that came out, squad lead and commanded, Karma Cut, Shadowed Ritual, Tedish, Jack Reynolds, Dr. Kami, Best Pony, X-Bit, Nasty Nate, Kirkley, Satan, all those guys coming out and squad leading. Gotta love it. Really great work. Great job, everybody. And with that, we're going to say goodnight. So myself, I've been CMYK Matter. My buddy Google Tracks here. Say goodnight, Google. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Have a good one, and we'll see you around later.